Hey everyone, welcome back to my homestead kitchen where we have been doing all things apple this season because it is apple season on our homestead and I've had a ton of apples to process. So in the past couple videos, I've showed you applesauce and apple scrap jelly and apple pie filling. And today I'm gonna to show you one more thing to do with those apple scraps. So like I said before, we've I've already shown you how to do the apple scrap jelly. I'll leave a link up here for you. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. Um, but today we're going to do apple scrap, apple cider vinegar. Now, when you make apple cider vinegar at home, it's great for baking, cooking, drinking, but it's not recommended for canning because it doesn't have the recommended amount of acidity to it. So don't use this for canning, but you can use it for everything else that requires apple cider vinegar. So for this, you're going to need sugar, water, and some apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this recipe, we're going to be using half gallon mason jars. I got mine at Walmart. So we're just gonna stuff our jars with our apple skins and cores and cut off pieces that didn't do so great or didn't make the cut for our applesauce and other things that we've made. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff the jar. All right, once our jars are full, we are going to add a quarter cup of sugar to each jar. And then a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is basically going to be your starter for these guys wanting to ferment nicely. So we're going to gently stir that up a little bit and add a quarter cup to each jar. And now we're going to add four cups of water again to each jar. Wipe off your jars. And then we're going to put a lid with today's date on it. And stick them down in the basement for two weeks. So these are going to go sit in my basement for the next two weeks while they bubble and ferment and do their bacteria thing that vinegar does. Um, but during the course of that two weeks, I'm going to make sure that I burp my jars. So to burp your jar, it's you're basically just gonna open it and release any pressure that builds up in your jar. Otherwise, you're going to have a mini explosion that's similar to a baking soda and vinegar volcano. Um, and you don't want that in your basement or your pantry or under your sink or wherever you're putting your apple scrap, apple cider vinegar. So make sure you burp your jars over the next two weeks. Um, 
and then once those two weeks are up, you're gonna to want to strain all of the solid scraps out. Um, make sure you're straining into a bowl so you're not wasting or losing your apple cider vinegar. Um, and then you're going to put it back into the jar and let it sit for another four to six weeks and then it's ready to use. So I'm going to put these in my basement and I will see you guys in two weeks. Alrighty guys, it has been two weeks since we um, bottled up our apple scraps to make our apple cider vinegar. So today we're gonna go ahead and strain all of the solids out and then we're going to put it in a new bottle. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've got my bowl and strainer set up. I also have the window cracked because this is actually really strong and fragrance. bits and dump the other one in there as well Sure, we shake all of that goodness out. All right, and then all of these scraps will go to my chickens. Apple cider vinegar is very good for them, and so all of those apple scraps will be perfect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of my apple cider vinegar back into one of the jars. And that's it. You've made your own apple cider vinegar. Once you've strained off your apple solids and you have just your jar of beautiful apple cider vinegar, you're gonna to wanna to let it sit for another four to six weeks before you use it. Um, so it can continue doing whatever it is that it does to make apple cider vinegar. Um, but once it is finished, once those uh, four to six weeks are up, you can go ahead and use it in your baking, your ferments, um, drinking it, and you can put it in your teas. Um, it's just not recommended, again, that you, you, you should not use it in your canning purposes because it doesn't have the recommended amount of acidity as your store-bought apple cider vinegar does. So you can use it in all of the other ways. Just don't use it in your canning recipes. All right, guys, if you have any questions about making your own apple cider vinegar, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.